Hi everyone. Now on today's video, I'm going to give you a little tip. Whenever you're re refurbishing a property, particular older properties, you may have issues with rising damp, um, damp penetration and so on and so on. But one great bit of advice that I can give you that will save you thousands of pounds is to use a product called tanking slurry. Now, what is it? Well, Every property that we buy, particularly older ones, okay, we use this tank in slurry. Uh, basically, what we do, we hack off the internal plaster um, from the ground ground level up uh, around about one meter, and we paint this product on to the stonework or brickwork internally to make sure that no damp comes in. Now, we generally do that after we've injected the wall against rising damp, but very often you get penetration damp through walls, and this tank in slurry product will save you thousands because a contractor will charge you anything from one thousand, one and a half thousand, two thousand pounds just to do a few walls inside a property. Now, let me just give, show you how it's done. Here it is. It comes in um, these tubs, okay? And inside, it's a powder form, okay? But basically, what you do is you mix this with one part water, three parts of this tank in slurry until you get a nice, creamy, uh, milky mix. And then what you do, if you've got damp penetration on a wall, internally or externally, you can use it into, you know, both inside and out. You paint this on to the wall and it will make it 100% waterproof. So here we have a shed, okay? Now this shed has been constructed and we want to store some good products inside this shed. So <clears throat> because it hasn't gotten a cavity or anything like this, what we're doing is we're painting this tank in slurry on to these walls. And basically what you do is this, okay? Let me just show you. One paintbrush, literally just Dip it in, and all you do is paint it on, look. Yep, just paint it on. Just make sure that you cover or fill every little hole, okay? So that you get a complete coverage over the wall. Okay, dead easy. Really, really easy. So here you've got the mix, okay? Just paint it on. You can trowel it on if you want to. Now they use this product in um, when they do basement conversions, um, when you want to maybe line the inside of garden walls so the damp when this you know when the soil is damp doesn't come through to the render on the outside walls. Lots and lots of different products, um, um, things that you can use it for. Now, literally, this will save you thousands of pounds if you're refurbishing a property. So like I said, whenever we buy an older property that uh, maybe the walls uh, have got damp penetration from the outside in, we will remove the plaster and we will literally paint this on to the walls. And then what you can do is, yeah, you can replaster back over it. So it really, really is dead simple. Just to give you an example, look, inside a property, we've actually tanked here um, the internal walls, look. Can you see? Um, and the joins, where it meets the floor, okay, ideally you should put maybe a fen uh, cement fillet along there and then you can tank down to the floor. You can also tank the floor. So if you want a 100% watertight, um, you know, room or property, tank the floors, tank up the walls and it will be 100% uh, waterproof. Believe it or not, if this was a basin and you tanked it, you could fill it with water and it would um, <laughs> it would act as a swimming pool because the water won't be able to travel out. So as much as water can't come in or, you know, uh, damp can't come in, water can't go out either. So it works both ways. As I say, it's a great product. 